everyone, welcome back to my channel, Southwest Thin Days, and welcome to Weymouth. I've just arrived here on the Jurassic Coaster bus from West Bay, and I'm heading on down to Lulworth Cove. So this video, I'm just going to show you a nice scenic journey from the Jurassic Coaster bus, probably set it to music, and there will be more videos from Weymouth and from Lulworth Cove and Durdle Door coming up, so do keep an eye out for those if I've not uploaded them already. But for today, just enjoy the Jurassic Coaster bus journey from West Bay and probably some scenes on the way back as well. I caught the X53 bus from West Bay to Weymouth and then I changed at Weymouth to go over to Lulworth Cove and Durdle Door. The spectacular Dorset coastline that stretches from Poole Harbour in the east to Lyme Regis in the west is just amazing and it's a world heritage site and it's become known as the Jurassic coastline because there's so many fossils from the Jurassic period which was over 150 million years ago. I think that Jurassic coaster buses are probably the best way to travel along the Jurassic coast. You get some amazing views from the top deck of the lovely countryside villages and the sea. It's just absolutely spectacular. Some of the buses are open top buses and others are closed. I enjoyed a few minutes fresh air stroll around Weymouth Beach while I waited for the X54 bus which took me down to Lulworth Cove. The fares are very reasonable. I paid £9.50 for a return to Lulworth Cove from West Bay. But you can also buy whole day tickets as well. And an adult is £13 and a child is £6.50. Or you can have a group of up to five people for £25 unlimited one day travel. This is the bus stop for Durdle Door. Hi, I'm just on my way back to the bus stop actually. I got off at Elworth Cave and then I walked to Durdle Door and I'll show you some photos and video of that in here but there will be another video entirely about that walk so do look out for that one and at the moment I'm just walking back to the bus stop to get the bus back to Weymouth and I'll show you some footage of that as we travel back towards Weymouth So you get off the bus just over there across the road and then you've got pedestrian way down to Durdle Door, which is down here. Oh, it's lovely to see the open top bus actually. I haven't had any luck in getting one today. They've all been closed decks, but hopefully the one coming back now towards Bingmouth will be open top there.
This esplanade looked really accessible and I saw lots of people running and cycling, pushing push chairs, there was wheelchairs, all sorts of things. It's really, really flat and amazing views from there. Before I knew it, we were back in Weymouth at the seafront. It's absolutely gorgeous there. And I did make another video at the seafront while I was there. So do watch out for that one, which will be coming up in the future. Do you have any memories of Lulworth Cove or Durdledore or even Weymouth? Drop a comment below in the comment section. I'd love to hear your memories. Well, thanks for joining me, everybody. It's been great to show you the coaster ride around the Jurassic Coast. And there's lots more buses around the Jurassic Coast as well. That's just part of the route. Hope you enjoyed it. And I look forward to showing you some more open top and double decker bus rides around the Southwest in due course as well. Unfortunately, I haven't got to ride on an open topper yet. Maybe the last bus will be one, I don't know, we'll see. No, thanks for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not already subscribed. The button is just underneath. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. I forgot to say what I was doing. I'm currently at Weymouth Rail Station picking up the bus here. And I'm heading back to West Bay where I started. Bye everybody.